Welcome to the course MG8591 Principles of Management Unit number 2 Planning At the end of this section one can able to know the strategic planning process and techniques and can also take part in decision making process okay. Now let's enter into this section The first thing it is the types of plan Okay, so uh, here we have many different types of planning uh, and we have already seen the planning process in the previous section so here uh, now let's see the uh, types of plans uh, we have in the principles of management okay. so here the first one is a long range versus short range okay so long range means it depend it uh, it is based on the uh, periods it is based on the period or uh, it may be for five years plan or four years plan or three years plan. So uh, the years will be long okay so short range plan short range plan it is nothing but here the duration will be short okay for example for two months or for uh, six months or uh, those plans comes under short range plans okay then strategic vs operational strategic uh, means so uh, it is the uh, uh, it needs so uh, technical knowledge for preparing the plan okay operational it also needs the uh, technical knowledge for preparing the plans okay next one corporate versus functional okay then the fourth one proactive vs reactive and the last one is the standing versus single use plan okay so here uh, this is the uh, tabulation for long range plan and short range plan okay based on meaning time deals with uh, and also prepared by okay. the first we can see the uh, uh, meaning so long range plans means it covers many years and in case of short range plan it covers less than one year so this is the main difference between long range plan and short range plan okay next on the time duration it for long range plan it will be five years and for short range plan it will be up to one year and uh, when we deal with the uh, long range plan so this is mission oriented long term goals and strategies okay short range plan means it is the current operations of the organization okay so whenever we need uh, we request a sudden plan so we implement the short range plan okay then the uh, long range plans are prepared by prepared by top management and the top management and the short range plan is prepared by lower level executives so these are the main difference between long range versus short range plans okay now let's see the strategic versus operational plan in terms of time horizon purpose uh, level involved and basics for planning okay so here strategic planning you know, based on time it will be five years and for operational it will be for one year okay and the purpose so here the purpose it is for external environment and uh, operation plan is for the internal environment and based on level the strategic plan is prepared by the top management and the operational plan is prepared by the lower or middle level management and uh, based on the planning the strategy plan is primary for judgment okay. and for operational planning it is primary for extracting data and using standards okay. the next one it is the corporate versus functional so corporate plan a comprehensive plan that outlines the broad objectives of a company as a whole and develop plan to achieve those objectives focus on organizational performance and uh, on the other hand functional plan it is uh, unit planning and deals with the different departments focus on departmental performance then proactive versus reactive proactive planning managers challenge the future anticipating future contingencies and in case of the reactive planning organizers reacted uh, organizers react to events as and when they required okay then standing versus single use plan this is the last thing standing means uh, it is regularly over a period of time it occur regularly okay so once the plan is uh, finished then uh, in the uh, after some time we will be again we will be implementing this uh, this 
particular plan so those kind of plans so it is called a sanding plans example for the sanding plans are objectives policies procedures methods and rules okay so we'll be having some rules and in the next year we'll be modifying that rule modifying that rule okay so those kind of things comes under standing plans and uh, the other hand in the single use plan it is developed to carry out a course of action that is not likely to be repeated in future okay so we will be using uh, uh, in a single time so we will be you know we, we will not be using in the next time so those kind of plans are called as single use plans for examples for uh, single use plans are programs schedules projects budgets etc okay then uh, so this is not necessary so here they have given the summary of uh, the types of plans so here uh, this is a hier hierarchy of plans or the types of plans mission or objectives objectives or goals strategies policies procedures rules programs and budgets okay mission or purpose okay so mission is nothing but we uh, we want to achieve a goal so for that goal what are the steps required so that is called as mission and objectives or goals okay so th it is the primary part of a company so that means so uh, without a goal uh, there won't be any company okay so each and every company will be having a goal and uh, we will be working forward towards the goal to goal for the achievement the strategies the determination of basic long term objectives of an enterprise and adoption of course of action and allocation of resources necessary to achieve these goals policies means general statements or understanding that guide or channel thinking in decision making then procedures plans that establish a required method of handling future activities then the rules spell out specific required actions or non actions allowing no discretion then programs means a complex of goals policies procedures rules task assignments steps to be taken resources to be employed and other elements necessary to carry out a given course of action okay so budgets a statement of expected results expressed in numerical terms so these are the definitions of programs budgets etc then cascading of objectives so here they have given the uh, 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 structure of the objectives that is the first one it is the overall organizational objective so that is found by the top management then the next one below the overall objective that is the divisional objective that is uh, handled by the middle managers then departmental objectives by the line managers and finally individual objectives so each and every workers will be having some objective for the achievement of goals okay so that's all about this section thank you